Yeah. So explain the parties. I believe you were at EDC in Mexico. Like I, I tell guys, there's always events going on in Mexico City 24-7. It's a huge city. So like any big city, you're going to have things going on. And then more so once you start putting yourself out there and getting integrated into various social circles, then you get invited mm -hmm. to a lot of cool events. So I'm a part of a handful of social circles where we have private chats. So all these rooftop parties, you'll see them sometimes advertised on Instagram, but it's usually we're all kind of friends with each other. So in the private chat, there's going to be a list of 300 some odd people that get the invite for the rooftop parties and then people on the list, you can invite other people, but you kind of have to vouch for them. So um, it kind of eliminates a lot of the riffraff. Uh, you still will see some foreigners there, but they're usually vetted through someone else in the social circle. So they're all pretty cool people. Whereas a lot of the cool clubs in Mexico City have been over overtaken by foreigners. And really, I don't even go to them anymore because it's just like any standard run of the mill bar in the US, just a 80% guys all standing there, not really dressed to impress clutching the beer to their chest, hounding and harassing the few girls that are in there. And they don't realize that people go out and mix company here. So you're usually asking for a bad time if you're being aggressive with women and they're out there with brothers and cousins and male coworkers and boyfriends or what have you. So I try to avoid those places. But yeah, like the, the private social groups and once you get into those and start getting invites for cool stuff, that's, that's usually where you want to be. But there's, there's always something going on here, as, as you mentioned.